Hey there, welcome back to another book review by me, D-Pad Gamer. So, in this one, we'll be talking about 112263 by Stephen King, which is a massive novel. It's not actually the only book I was reading in between now and the last review, because I actually was trying to read The Devil in the White City, as well as, after I dropped that one, uh, The Invisible Man by H.G. Uh, Wells. They were both really boring uh, and really hard to read. So I sort of just didn't read anything for a bit, but I, I went, I read this one. It is almost 900 pages. It was a massive book that felt like it went on forever, but in a good way. There will be spoilers, by the way. So this book I thought was really, really good. I tried watching the uh, Hulu series, and I still might, because I, I got about two or three episodes into that. But the changes they made don't really, they're not really gelling for me. Uh, the ending of the book wasn't very up to my uh, liking. Some of the bits dragged on, but maybe that was the pr point of them. But ultimately, I liked the book. Um, I liked the main character. It took time to sort of get used to him. Uh, because he's not like a bad character or anything, but... Um, he almost... Des he described himself as being almost... He's not closed off. He's not emotionless. Emotion... Emotional? Emotionless? He's not emotionless. But he, he's not a crying man, and, and that's part of the reason why he has issues with his wife, or his ex-wife, and why he has sort of... Is this, sorry, my cat's in the background being weird. It's clear that he has... Uh, it takes time to open up, and it takes time for him to really let himself feel stuff. But my god, when he finally meets Sadie, the, the love interest, the uh, which, I mean, that whole thing is amazing. That whole relationship grows over however many pages, and it's a good chunk of the book. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I really liked Sadie. I really liked everyone in Jody. I came to love the town just as uh, Jake did. So, I really, I was really invested in the characters. Um, I liked Harry. Well, I like the idea of Harry, because he's not exactly fle a fleshed-out character, but um, his plight is definitely one that I can... React to. There's many times in the book where it, there would be that final end of section or chapter sort of reveal or twist or sort of like <gasps> gasp moments, and it definitely got to me. Um, but I I don't like how it ended at all. I, f I, th I feel like that's my biggest gripe with the book. I, I heard somewhere, and I don't know if it's accurate, that Stephen King books are great, but then he usually trips up the ending. And I don't know if that's true. And I, I mean, I don't know if that's something I actually heard or I just started created in my head, but I'm pretty sure that fits this book to a T. Um, the whole time, the whole lead up to the assassination was great. But then when it finally came time, it just sort of felt... I mean, it was on purpose it felt rushed because he was down to the wire. But not just that, it's just like, it felt cliche the fact that Sadie was standing right behind him when he tripped. And then she took the bullet. Um... And uh, just the whole, I don't know, I, I, it doesn't help that, okay, so one thing is I accidentally spoiled the ending for myself in a way, um, because when, so throughout the book, there is plenty of old school lingo thrown around and I was really curious. So I was like, I was looking up some of these phrases like, oh, dickering is a term for uh, haggling. That's. That makes sense in context, but some of them, some of them are just used somewhere, and he just sort of like he's like, oh, okay, yeah, but they don't make sense. I'll look them up. So when it was the, it wasn't even the yellow card man. Uh, it was like the green card man, whatever. When when he went back and the the, the card man called him Jimla at the very start near the start of the book, I was like, oh Jimla, what's that? And I looked it up. And it's like, Jimla is the name you, uh, given to, or uh, given to blah, 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 because he's a time demon or some crap like that. And I was like, oh, <laughs> great. So that immediately ruined that sort of aspect of the book for me, um, which is my own fault, to be honest. I'm not blaming the book. And it didn't quite ruin it because I still enjoyed the whole uh, thing. But when the, the ending came out where, oh, the past, the, the future was ruined, it felt inevitable and not in a good way. It's just like, oh, come on. I was so frustrated. Like, I... 
I know it wouldn't have been a satisfying ending, but like, it would have been satisfying for me if, 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 I mean, I want them, I wanted them, I, what I expected, honestly, was that they, the past would be so difficult to change that they would be unable to prevent the assassination of JFK and they'd be forced to flee into the future, but they would have each other and then some, I don't know what sort of moral you could pull out of that, but at least the two of them would have been together. But no, well, the ending we do get, and again, spoilers, after 800 pages, is he goes to the future. It's a horrible, horrible time. There are earthquakes constantly. Um, part of uh, Japan just fell into the water as if it was on the elevator, just boop, disappeared. There's a weird noise in the air because uh, time is falling apart, or reality is falling apart. And he goes back and past, spends time there just to write his book, and then goes back to the future and it's all good. And it's like... Okay, whatever. And then he looks up Sadie, finds her, goes dances with her when she's 80 years old, and she's like, don't I know you? And he's like, haha, and then maybe maybe in another life, and then it ends, and I'm just like, god damn it. <laughs> I'm just so frustrated, because it's like, I really enjoyed the book. I really did. Um, I'm happy to have it on my bookshelf. I'm happy to have read it. Stephen King is great at points. Um, in Derry, uh, when there's a whole bevy on the levee, and Richie, I forget whatever sort of sing-song Richie had, but uh, um, Beverly and Richie from It, that part was garbage. <laughs> there was no point to it. So a lot of dairy felt bad. It just felt weird and, and stilted, the fact that he kept shoving in It, uh, it another book of his, which I'm sure yeah, you guys know that, but either way. Um, in the... TV series, they actually removed that whole section with Derry and moved um, Harry's stuff to Kentucky, made it different. And I think that is a good call. But um, yeah, just <laughs> that section was just weird. Um, I did really enjoy how, you know, Jake's first trip back was really positive. Um, I don't want this. I, I'm trying not to like keep comparing, bring up the TV show because, like, God, that one messed up some stuff. Anyways, um, I really liked the concept of... I like time travel stuff. Okay, I'll, I'll go there. I like time travel books. I like time travel stories. So when I had heard of this one way back when, I think from hearing about the TV show, I was like, oh, that's really cool. I'll try to read that eventually. And I saw a Reddit post like some weeks back of like someone saying, oh, I just finished reading 11.22.63 and it was amazing. So I, I, I bookmarked that just so I could see that headline. And I what, next time I was at this uh, bookstore, I picked it up. I also picked up another Stephen King novel, which we'll talk about maybe in the next video or so. And then uh, d some other random sci-fi. But the time travel aspect was really good because it's a unique concept. Time portals aren't really um, new, but having a time portal in a fixed location that has a fixed place and time is... That's a good concept. But then the fact that it's seemingly it's not actually but seemingly the first time every time i i thought that was really good and i and i, and I bought into it um and i was like this is really interesting um so but that concept obviously has flaws so when it comes time that the whole yellow card men or the card men that whole thing was so so bad <laughs> uh but that whole like their job is to whatever and I thought it was really interesting the fact that, oh, every time he went back, it created a new thread, um, or cord, or, yeah, thread, I think it was thread, a new thread. So Al going back, uh, like, thousands of times to get his meat basically ruined the mind of one of them, I thought that was an interesting concept. Uh, it doesn't make any sense why he'd be the yellow card man for all that time and then eventually die over two more trips back, because that just makes no sense. Um, but... Generally, it was an interesting book, an interesting setup that I think was just sort of, it sort of floundered at the end. Uh, a lot of the sections with trailing uh, Oswald and all that were bad. I thought the dairy stuff was good, because you get to see... I don't know, just anything with historical figures. It just felt really... Eh, just like, I don't know how to describe it other than just like, ugh, it wasn't good. 
Uh, I, I don't know. So every time I come back to Jody, it was great. To finally have that moment where... Um, where uh, Clayton uh, confronted uh, Sadie... Or not confronted, that's not right. You know, attacked her. I thought that part... I was I was on, my, on the edge of my seat. There were many sections in this book where I was like, really really worried <laughs> and i was like it's just a book but like it was i was super into it but uh i think if nothing else it convinced me that i enjoy stephen king novels or rather i think he's created he's capable of creating some good stories he's apparently made over 90 novels and so many of them have been turned into tv shows and movies over the years i've seen so many of them so it'll be hard to read the books uh, for ones i've already known about but I'll probably be reading more Stephen King. One of them, like I mentioned earlier, it's actually the start of the uh, Gunslinger trilogy. Or not trilogy. Gunslinger saga. Or... No, The Dark Tower. Sorry, I had to check it. I had to look over at the book. It's The Gunslinger, which is part of The Dark Tower. So I got book one. It's much shorter. So I'll be reading through that in the next week or so. But... Yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else. It's just, thanks for all the slamming of the doors. It's, it's just, uh, frustrating to see a great book go on and on and have these great characters. And then when you finally have to reset it, it's just, I just don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like how it went. Um, I think it was great though. The fact that... No, I take that back. <laughs> you know, the more I think about it, the, the whole time demon aspect at the end just felt unnecessary, actually. You could have had the whole thing not be like that. If you just had no time demon aspect, he's successful, he goes back, uh, and... I mean, why would he go back again? I would think that it's because he wants to save Sadie. Um, but... It just, it just... I don't know how to put it into words. It just feels... Bad. Just call me a literary sheep, because it's bad. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, man. I like the book. It was pretty good, overall. Crappy ending, but that doesn't make the re the other 750 pages bad by pr association. Um, I know this rev this review, this discussion, <laughs> it's neither, uh, is very over the, all over the place. But uh, yeah, I'm glad to have read the book. Generally, um, I'll read more Stephen King novels in the future. The one I'm currently reading is not Stephen King, but it is a magical whatever sort of sci-fi thing which seems like it's gonna be interesting i don't know but yeah i'll talk about that one in the next video thanks for hanging out and waiting <laughs> sorry if anybody was really looking forward to these videos and they just didn't happen for a while i just wasn't reading for like a week and then it took so long trying to read devil in the white city i almost want to make a video just complaining about that one but it's like it has all the information of a documentary crammed into it with none of the visual interest <laughs> anyways uh thanks for watching uh i appreciate anybody who sat through this whole thing uh if you haven't read 11 63 i think it's a good book i think it's worth checking out um but yeah i'll see you guys next one bye